You see, when we get cast out of Israel, we would have lost our identity. We would have lost our nationality. Let me show that. Read it for me. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou even thyself. You know Jeremiah was a mighty prophet, right? And you know what God said to Jeremiah? Come on. Even thou thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance. Jeremiah would be discontinued from being called an Israelite. Jeremiah would be discontinued from living in the land that God gave to his people. Come on, read on. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. No, Jeremiah will be in a land serving his enemy. What scripture we read earlier on to the first time serve your enemy in a land that you know not? In captivity. Well, I'm going to you. Come on. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. The fact that Jeremiah don't know the land because Jeremiah never been there before, he will be taken there. So what people upon the earth was taken from their land to a land that they never know. At one point, did we know Jamaica? At one point, did we know America? But we were taken there and we were, we were serving the people that brought us there. Just as God said, it would have happened to Jeremiah. So now let me show something, brother. Give me Isaiah 29 and verse 5. 15. Isaiah chapter. Um, a name, I will call it, call it by a different name. Let me show you. What's your question? Brother, we. Let me show you something. If your father is royalty, your, your great great father were royalty, what does that make you? Royalty. So if your forefather were the Israelite, what does that make you? Exactly. It, if it doesn't matter if your forefather were the Jew, you the children of you are you are the seed of theirs, you are a Jew likewise. Read it for me quickly. Quickly. Let me share something. Read it for me. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 15. And he shall leave your name for a curse. Brother, God said we would have lived our name for a curse. What name do we leave? What name do we leave? We leave the name Judah for American blacks. We leave the name Benjamin for West Indian blacks. Do you understand? We leave our name for a curse. What curse? The curse is the name that we would have received in captivity. Right? Come on. For the Lord thy God shall slay thee. Because we would be slain by the most high God. What did that happen? God sent the other nation against us. And they slain us. Come on. And call his servants by another name. So when they slay you, then they decide to call you another name. Jamaican, right. African American, right. Asian. Right. You understand? Different, different names. Right. God said that he would have slain us because we broke his commandment and called us by another name. Right. So now, this is what you may ask chapter 3 and verse 1. Right. So this is why... When we come and bring the gospel to you, teach you who you are, you say, no, I am not a Jamaican, I am not an Israelite, I'm a Jamaican. Let me show you that. What we're doing is bringing back your true identity to you. You see, whether you know you're an Israelite, say no, the curse that God put upon your Israel is still going to affect you. So might as well, if you're going to bear the, bear, the name, um, bear the pain, might as well bear the name. Come on. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it up. The ox knoweth his owner. So remember, earlier on, the Lord said that he's going to slay us and call us by a different name. What is that? He said the ox knows his owner. Who is an ox? An ox is what you call a cow. A cow know who move them. A cow know who give them water. Come on. And the ass is master's crib. A ass is what you call a donkey or jackass. And we are not going to donkey in find him yard. That's a common saying on the island. But you God is comparing us to them. And God is saying that even those animals have more sense than we. They show you. Read on. But Israel do it not know. But the children of God do what? Do it not know. Why? Because the children of God are being called by a different, different name. That's why they don't know who they are. Because if you know that you are a Jew, then you would have known who your God is. Then you would have known who your, where your land is. But you don't know where your land is. Oh, you know. Because if I ask anybody, yes, sir, where do you come from? Africa. Okay. You come from a landmass of Africa. But where in Africa is your land? Where in Africa is your land? We don't know. But we all know where we come from that landmass called Africa. You understand what I tell you? That's why God said, read it again. But Israel do it not know. That's why God said, you don't know. And guess what happened? My 
people do it not consider. And you don't care to consider who you are, where you're from, who is your God. A matter of fact, you don't even call each other my people. Why do only we end up to reach the point where we don't know who we are and we don't consider? We're going to show you. First, the book of Psalms 83 and verse 1. Keep not silent, O God, and hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. God is saying the other nation, they ate him, and they lift up themselves. They became proud of themselves to the point where they think to themselves that they too are God. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. What does God say the other nation have done concerning the black man and black woman? God said that they have taken crafty counsel against you. And have consulted against thy hidden ones. They are confederate against thee. The against thee, the tabernacle of Edom. So God said that they have, they have come, they have confederate against you. So brothers and sisters, let me show you something. You see when they have the round table meeting, when this nation have the round table meeting, it's against you. That's why none of your people was not present there. How can I keep the Israelite in sin? Because if we allow the Israelite man and woman to become righteous, our rulership will be over. Their God will fight for them. So we have to keep them in sin. Let's make pants for the woman. Their God said they must just modesty. Let's make the woman naked. Let's make the men naked. They have done this thing. Oh, you know, because where do you get your clothing from? Where do you get your clothing from? You get it from the other nation. What do you know about our women? They are naked. Why? Because they don't have any mother's clothing to wear. Next thing again, what about the food that you consume? You're not supposed to eat pork as the Israelite. But you notice, the people, they make sure that they mingle pork in everything where you eat. They defile you. That's crafty counsel. They are not for you. They are against you. Because of that, your son served them. Your great, 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 great grandchildren are going to serve them. You're going to find your children in the supermarket and wipe the floor and I'll pop the shelf 100 years down the road as long as they're in slavery. That will always happen. Read on. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. So no, they said, no, we need to cut these nations off. We need to divide them. We need to conquer them. We need to cut them off from being a nation. When you're a nation, what is your identity? When you're a nation, what is your identity? Your identity as a nation is Israel. Every nation has a common identity. But if they can cut you off from being a nation, you don't share the same identity anymore. Let's show you. Read. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel. When you're a nation, what is your name? That the name of Israel, when you are a nation, my brothers, my people, when we are a nation, we are known as the Israelite. They say, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. So now that they cut them from being a nation, do you think you're going to still have the name Israel? No. Let's show you. Read. That the name of Israel be no more in their remembrance. So when they cut you off from being a nation, you're no longer called Israel. You are no called Jamaican. You are no called West Indian. You are no called Asian. You are no called African American. You are no called Hispanic. That's all the name that they give you because they cut you off. They call you Puerto Rican. That's how they name you. They cut to off from being a nation because the common name that you have as a nation is Israel. Sons of God. Prince with power, prince or a poor with God. That is your name. So something very important these nations have taken away from you. And you don't care to know what it is. You don't consider to know what it is. So if we want to serve God, we must come back to this book. Learn the way of our forefathers. Because this book is not a white man book. Brothers and sisters, stop making the people and tell us a white man book. It is not. This is the book of the Jews. You are the Jews. Get it for me. It is you who are the Jews. But how did they get their hand on your book? 
70 AD, the fall of your homeland. When they invade your homeland, they conquer you. You fled into Africa. And so they held on to your book. You know that the white man is the biggest thief in earth. They stole every great empire history. Likewise, they have done yours. They stole your name. They stole your land. They show you. Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. What is the word? The word is the Bible. God said he showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is your forefather. You are the children of Jacob. That's why you are known as the Israelite. Read on. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. What are the statutes? And what are the judgment? The judgment is slavery for breaking those statutes. Slavery. Right? Come on. He has not dealt so with any nation. Let me show you something. The white man I promote same-sex marriage. Hold in Uganda captivity. The white man attack boy you can't change your gender. Hold in Uganda captivity. It is you who God gave the laws to. It is you who God is punished because you are his sons and you are his daughter. Just that you only can beat your child, you cannot beat another person's child. Because your child is, com is commanded to keep your commandment. Not the next neighbor child. That's why God said that. You understand? Read. He has not dealt so with any nation. And God never do that to no other nation. Come on. And as for his judgment, as for the judgment, become slaves. As for the judgment, being lynched, being raped. Come on. They have not known them. No other nation can send another nation rape them. No other nation can send another nation lynch them. No other nation can send another nation kill them in captivity by slave ship. The only people can say it is you. Israel. You, the children of Israel. So you greater than what they call about your gentile dog. You ain't no gentile dog. You are the prince and the princess of God. Right? That's who you are. Come on. Psalms 106 and verse 35. But we're mingled among the Eden and learned their works. So now we mingle among the nation and we learn their works. We learn their idolatry. Read on. And they serve their idols. What do we end up do? And they serve <coughs> their idols, which were a sneer unto them. Now watch your brother and sister. The Bible said that we were mingled among the nation and we end up serve their idols. All this stuff for me. <laughs> we mingle among the nation and we serve their idols. Whose God is this? What, whose nation God is this? That's why. Our king is coming. The end is coming. Right? But why are you playing games? Why are you women keep on playing games and you men keep playing games? Time is running out. It's time for you to wake up people. Come back to the commandment of God so you can save your soul. Right? Give me um, Matthew 24. Think of verse 24. God only sent us out here to give warning to you, brothers and sisters. That's all he sent us out here to do. Give you warning. Stop just like a prostitute woman. Go and put on a dress. Men, pull your pants up. If you know that your father take care of your responsibility, stop impregnating the sisters and run off and disown the pregnancy. Sisters, stop go to the abortion places and aborting God's children. You're not going to get away with these things. Many of you brothers and sisters, you are guilty of these things. Read what you got for me. Matthew 24 and verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. There shall what? Arise false Christ. God mentioned to you that when we go into captivity, there's going to be a false Christ preaching the earth. Right? That Christ is this image right here. It has been preaching the earth, and many of our brothers follow you. Think that one day you're going to go to heaven, right? One day this white man is going to come and take you to heaven. Why wait? Because you're living in his heaven right now. You are serving him in his heaven right now. This is not your heaven place. Now they rest in peace, brothers and sisters. This is all your captivity. Read for me. For there shall arise false Christ. There will be a false Christ. God baptized out the true Christ, skin like brass and hair like bull. The same hair you have and the same complexion of skin you have, brothers and sisters. That's the true image of the true Christ. Read on. And false prophets. No, the pastors that, that teach this to you, they are false. They are false.
laws. As the only Christians stand here and tell us that since Christ died, we no longer have to keep the Sabbath. Where do you think he learned that from? He learned it from those false prophets. Who the white man tell to teach you that God laws are not away with. Why do you think you end up in slavery in the first place? For breaking God's laws. So when they teach you that God laws are not away with, you will not keep them, therefore you will remain in slavery. Therefore you remain a servant in the earth and not rulers. Read. And there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it was possible, they shall deceive the very elect. But guess what happened? Among God's people, God have an elect. Those elect will not be deceived. We will work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. This is a revolution of God. This time that we live in it, the greatest time on earth, revolution. A spiritual and biblical revolution. All these lives will be shut down this earth. I'm all